everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a huge organisational video. I'm going to be organising my office area and then I'm also going to be organising the boys homeschool area which I'm now going to change to like adding all the crafts and all the making and all the play stuff for the kids. So just like sorting out all the like pens, crayons, play-dohs as well as all the kids homeschooling stuff. Uh, my office area is behind me just here. I'll give you an overview in a minute. It needs massively sorting out and organising and everything is kind of just jumped like dumped into drawers at the minute. I've been to Ikea and brought a new set of drawers from here and loads of organisational bits for the homeschool area. So there's going to be loads to organise and I'm going to be using my Cricut Joy to cut out organisational stickers and vinyls to put on everything, all the drawers so I know exactly where everything is and I would massively like to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Meet your new DIY best friend. The Cricut Joy makes it easy and fast to personalise, organise and customise your entire life. It cuts any shape to perfection, use it on iron-on materials, cardstock, vinyl and paper and even works with material you already have in your home. And with its small and compact look, it can fit discreetly almost anywhere and is super easy to take on the go with the handy compact tote bag. With Bluetooth built in, it's easy to wirelessly connect to your computer, phone or tablet so you can design absolutely anywhere with the handy easy to use app it's never been easier to customize your life it also works offline just download your prints and designs and you can cut even when you're not connected to the internet design or upload your own designs or choose from the wide variety of pre-made designs available with Cricut access say goodbye to your scissors and your label maker the Cricut Joy is your one-stop DIY best friend again thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring the video So this is what the office area currently looks like. So this is Luke's side which we obviously won't be touching. And then over here is the side that we are going to be organising which is my side. So at the minute I've got old boxes under here. I've got them drawers which don't really match. So I'm not really sure if I'm just going to leave them there and put my new drawers in front of them. Or organise them because the stuff in there is just kind of like storage that we're just not going to touch. Nothing to do with the office area. So on the top we've got my Cricut of course, which is absolutely my favourite thing at the minute. We've got my laminator, which I've actually got my very first vinyl that I cut out from my Cricut, just there behind. Um, the laptop, tablet, printer and scanner, and then just a load of clutter so I could do with hanging some of this on the wall here. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring over my new drawers. Um, there's my filming light, so I'm not sure if I'm going to put that away kind of like to just leave it out so yeah I'm going to put you on time lapse while I quickly just organize all of this and then we'll get on with cutting the vinyls so I didn't really think it through the size of the drawers because if I pop them here I lose access to this drawer here so what I think I've decided to do is pop it there but empty out everything in that drawer because although I lose access to that drawer um, I've gained all that extra drawers and also this surface space here which I can put some stuff on. Um, so I guess the first thing we need to do then is empty this drawer that I'm no longer going to be able to use.
So in the drawers so far, I've put in this one some stuff to make bath bombs because I thought I don't do that that often. So when I need to, I can literally just move this out of the way. Sorry, the printer has just decided to start making crazy sounds. So here we are. Oh, no, it's still going. So in the top drawer, we've got printer paper and also the ink for the printer that can go at the back. Second drawer down, we've got all the photo paper and laminating sheets. So this is all the different size photo paper, this is all the different size laminating sheets. The next drawer down is where I've put all my Cricut stuff. So this is plenty big enough for now, but as I get more vinyl and stuff, I might need to get a bigger space. But this is where I'm going to keep it now. There's still quite a lot of room where I could fit more vinyl, so that's good. In this one, I've put all my stuff to make wax melts. Um, that's like, it was quite a struggle to get it all to fit in this drawer, you probably saw. So that's not like the tidiest, but it all fits in there nicely. At least it's out of my way. And then finally, in this bottom drawer is all my stuff to make glitter glasses. And then under here, in this wicker basket, I've just popped some of the glitter glasses. Just give you an example. So here you go. So you can actually use the Cricut to make these decals. Um, so I might actually make a video to show you guys how to do that because that would be really interesting to show you all. Um, I've moved all the boxes from under here. I've left just this one for now. Um, I need to figure out how to sort all these wires because it just looks really messy at the minute. But I've added another extension reel. Um, so yeah, so now that I've put everything in the drawers, I'm going to label them. Here is kind of just my everything drawer. So in here I've got my um, small, what's this called? Guillotine, that's the word. So I've got a guillotine, I've got my big hole punch. Um, these are like binder clips, so when I am like laminate and make binders for the kids homeschooling, that's in there. The box and ca carrier for my camera. These are just sticky sided velcro for when I'm making things for homeschooling and then I've just got a load of like random papers and things in there and this is my like edge cutter for the laminator. So that's just my everything drawer at the minute so I'm not really sure what I'll label that but yep that's where it is for now. So guys I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to set up and use the Cricut Joy so I've got that right here. So first of all I'm going to open up the app. So here is my app, super easy to use. I have logged in, I have access to the Cricut Access, I'm subscribed. Um, so I'm gonna go down to vinyl stickers and decals, design your own. Here you can pick what layout you want. Here you can pick what layout you want. We're gonna go with portrait. Next, you can set your dimensions and everything. Down the bottom is where you can decide what it is you want to add. So we're going to add some text. And I'm just going to type in printer paper. Tick. So you just want to move it around on the screen until you get the size, like the, how you want it and the size. So I'm going to have it this way. And you're just going to mess around with it until you get it how you like. So I've typed in laminated paper for this one and I've set my dimensions and we're going to press done. So the next thing I want to do is cut my paper. So I'm going to go ahead and get my guillotine and my black vinyl and I'm going to do that now. Once you've cut your vinyl you're just going to open up your Cricut machine. Press next, select your material. So we're using the Smart Vinyl Permanent and press make it. Super easy to connect to your device. Once it's connected to your Joy, it will tell you to load the paper like this. So we're gonna add the vinyl in. We're gonna let the machine do its business tells you everything on the screen, you press go. Once it's done it will tell you that it is complete and you just press unload on your screen or on your computer depending on which device you want and the joy lets go of it meaning that you can take out your decal super nice and easy. 
So I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of them and then they're going to come back and you can watch me apply them. A million people in the crowd but I only see your face in all the lights And as the bass keep pounding on me baby I really want to make you mine them on my drawers. drawers all nice and labeled so now I can tell what is in every drawer so I'm going to go ahead and clear up these frames I hang like um, a couple inspirational quotes organize the top decide where I'm going to pop everything and then that will be the office area done but I'm absolutely loving these don't they look good guys and now I can send Keen upstairs and you can't be like I don't know where it is but like you can read the labels right there
there you have it guys the new and improved office space complete with organized drawers and labels so the only thing i need to do is sort out the wires underneath there but for now this is how it's looking Hey guys, so it's the next day and we're going to organise the homeschool area which you can see here behind me and these shelves here. So we've got the hair up, we've got the jogging bottoms on and we're ready for business. So the first thing that I'm going to do is sort out all the crafts, decide where they're going to go. And I'm going to give you a quick overview of what it looks like. This isn't exactly what it looks like, I've kind of dumped everything here so that I can get through and organise it. Started to put things roughly into these storage containers. I'm just going to show you some of the bits that I picked up to organise things with. So firstly I picked up a couple of these storage bins that have got the different compartments in I was thinking I can use these to kind of like pens, crayons, paintbrushes and then obviously we're going to use the Cricut and we're going to label them so they're nice and obvious what they are so when I send a child up that they can just grab it off the shelf. A couple of those that we're going to use. Then I picked up six of these storage bins with the lid so these can stack on top of each other fit things in i'm not sure how i'm going to put them in the shelf whether i'm going to put them this way or long ways but either way again we're going to use the cricut to label these so the children know exactly what's inside them nice and easy put them on the shelves and i also picked up some of these from um, i think these are super inexpensive i think they were 50p for a pack of four from ikea and um, the storage bins are from ikea as well and these were from amazon if i remember i'll try and link them down below so i'm going to put all like the boys school works books things all in these get them off the desk so yes yeah, so i'm going to set you up on a time lapse while i go through and organize everything and then i'll come back and you can see me making the labels and where i've put everything You look at that. I said, My friend, what you're looking at? I think she is something for me. Excuse me, miss. It's my first time here. Maybe you could show me out of here. I think she got something in me. So please forgive my rudeness if I'm tripping over your time. But you look so amazing. And we Got something, every good thing comes to an end. At least it always happened to me. I'm telling you this now. You don't need to worry, cause I got this all down. And we get all together. And we
majority of the stuff into the storage containers and into the storage that I've got. I'm going to go ahead and start making my labels and sticking them on so that I can see what's in everything and then we can better to get them all organised then and decide what shelves we're all going to go on and then tidy up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and start making the labels for them now. Said that they don't got a future, future like that. It burns, so give him something worse to kill his head with. Make him forget somehow. Might be that another day she would have wished he stayed, but they're done. Sorry, this won't be enough this time. Yeah, he's calling all his friends to get some action and distract him right now. He's fine, got Lucy on the line. Let's get this started. Where's the party tonight? the binders are nice and labelled. I'm going to go ahead and label the storage containers then we can decide where everything's gonna go. and labelled I'm gonna go ahead and organize everything the cricket has really made it so much easier and just just organizational heaven like look at this so now I'm gonna go ahead and organize it all organize all the desk area and yeah let's come with it
your home school room done, I just need to give it a hoover so please excuse the floor. So we have the whiteboard here, all the lovely organised drawers, there's all Kim's action figures. So I've put the kind of stuff that's not going to be used like in the homeschool area as much, for example the slime stuff out of the way so kids can't reach it, the smaller kids. The stuff for the girls so that they're not coming in here and grabbing pens. I think I might end up moving that one a bit higher but for now it's there. And I might move these to the bottom drawer and those a bit higher but we'll see. So I thought it would look quite nice as it was to give it a little bit of separation. Going forward I may move the Osmo stuff because I kind of like just the white and the black. So I might empty these two out and, and, and add some more um, like of the white and the black just to make it look a bit more uniform and also going forward I might label these drawers because in here I've put the reading box and in here I've put the educational box so I might label them as well but for now this is how this area is looking the desk I've literally just completely minimized all I've left on it is the Osmo and then there are all the Osmo gadgets and then some of their pencils and pens put all the necessities in the drawer so like their rulers rubbers um like math protractors that's it stuff like that in there so yeah so this is what it looks like I'm going to move the um hang on so the whiteboard usually will go in that gap there while we're not using it so I might move that over there now but yeah so how fantastic does the homeschool area look now guys just quickly moved them and them round because when you walk up the stairs it makes it look a little less messy with everything being a bit uniformed so this is how it's looking Super happy with how the homeschool area has turned out. Thank you guys for watching my organisational video and thank you again to Cricut for sponsoring the video. I have been absolutely blown away with how amazing it has made everything look. And if you really did enjoy the Cricut then I will be doing some more videos using it because I make glitter glasses and I like to make vinyls so I'll be making that. And I'm also doing a DIY in the girls toy box. So I'm going to be covering that in lovely decals in a nice grey silver. So if you're interested in seeing those videos, make sure you press subscribe because they're going to be coming soon. Like this video guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.